Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 23rd through the 29th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there's an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Pisces. <clears throat> hmm, there you are, the moon, the overall energy. Oh man, things are running deep through here by the looks of it. That's definitely your energy. Um, I kind of get the sense that whatever is happening here, I feel like you're kind of dealing with things at a very deep level, but on the surface, it looks like you got your shit together, you know? Um, so it kind of looks like that a little bit, where there's some things that may not be visible on the surface, but we'll go through it. Uh, in the recent past, the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, the Hermit. This is where you're showing me that you feel something is done and over with. And there's a lot of healing over that. Was it done and over with? That's my question to this. Because you, again, on one hand you're feeling something, on the other hand on the surface things might look a little different. So that's where I'm kind of having a little bit of a... Um, of a debate here with well with me basically uh that's what you're showing me here though so we're just kind of gonna leave it like that and we'll see when we clarify because you're showing me i feel that this is done so let me heal okay in the current situation the judgment card the three of pentacles the eight of wands i kind of get the sense that whatever you felt was done and maybe it was i don't know um, kind of shifted maybe possibly into something else, or maybe you want for that to shift into something else, you know? Uh, there's a transformation here over a partnership, and it looks like it's coming from both ways, you know? Like it's, it's a mutual kind of a decision to possibly change things up here within this dynamic. Uh, in the immediate future, the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Empress, there's love that's shown up. Um, there's healing, there's good times showing up. Let me clarify. Let's see what's really going on here. Because you're, you're, you're a trickster here in this reading with that moon showing up as the overall. I'm like, oh man, something's running deep and some things are on the surface that don't look the same as the things that are running deep. So like, okay, let's see the moon. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. So you're definitely going through something here. There's something going on that's bugging you. And it's creating some sort of a like stressful kind of a chatter in your mind, at least. Um, on the surface, it's like la-di-da. Oh, everything's fine. It's not like you're lying about it. For some reason, the energies are showing up in that way. Uh, but not that you want to lie about it, like you're going through shit and you're going to pretend, oh, no, I'm not. Let me do something else to show you that I'm not. It's not like that. That's what's weird about this reading, because usually I get it like that. Okay, people are going through shit and they're going to put up this facade of, no, nah, everything's fine. You're not showing up like that. Like explaining it and putting it into words, it kind of looks like that. But it's not that. It's something else. And it's this whole reading that has that that little something to it of something's going on below the surface and then at the surface there, there's a different story there. There's something else going on. Okay, uh, let's do the High Priestess in the recent past. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. There's a commitment here. There you are giving energy to it, very confident, very charming, very, oh yeah, this is great. Um, 
feels good and it feels like this is the right place for you to give energy at the time i don't know what kind of a commitment this is it could be anything let me do the ten of swords six of swords page of swords ten of pentacles there's definitely a drop in energy there there's definitely a distancing between you and whoever whoever you are experiencing this with uh, I'm not sure if you pulled away or they pulled away. I'm not sure who did that. But somebody pulled away here. And it created some, some sort of distance. And that's what you felt. You're showing me, I feel it's over. I don't think it was over. I feel like the distancing was there, definitely. But I don't get the sense that it was over. You did. You possibly did. Here. Um, let's do the Hermit. The Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the High Priestess. Is this where you're trying to gain a sense of independence? Because I feel like that's what it is. The problem is, through this process of gaining your own sense of independence, you disconnected from how you felt. Um, I still don't see the situation as being done, but if you took it as being done and if it, you know, appeared... Because again, it's, it's appearances, apparently, for this reading. It appeared as being done. You may have taken it as, okay, I have to move on. I have to work on myself. I have to do this, that, and the other. And perfectly fine. You did it right there. Whether or not the situation was done, gaining that sense of independence, very healthy. However, there's a little glitch to that. There's a little you disconnecting from your own heart through this process not necessarily the best way to to gain that sense of independence because you need that part of you it's quite essential to this process you know um i don't know i don't know i don't see it as a problem this reading is going to be very interesting because it's still it's up and down it's up and down it's, it shows up like this but it's not this but it's that but it's not that oh man it's one of those huh Let's do the Judgment card. In the current situation, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups. That's great. That's great energy. That's an energy of clarity, of I know exactly what I want out of this. And again, I do see a shift in terms of whatever that represented. I feel like things have changed. You know, they may not look the same. They may not feel the same. Um, you, however, through this process, you're showing up strong. You know, there's definitely that energy of putting yourself first, taking care of your own needs, and really figuring out what, what you want out of this. Um, and I do see a lot of clarity on your side. Let's do the Three of Pentacles. The Tower, the Magician, the King of Wands. Ooh, somebody's making a spectacle here. almost like tantrums like nah i don't want that i don't care that you have your own clarity and you know what you want nobody asked me there's a little bit of that going on um where if you're the one that has it straight here and you know exactly what you want this other energy is not necessarily responding well to it um or is not agreeing to that like no that's not what i want so let's create a little bit of a situation for this let's do the eight of wands the death card the moon the six of wands interesting it's it's going south from here uh even if you're showing up clear about what it is that you want if you don't have the uh cooperation from the other side uh, even though it showed up as a common kind of an agreement here, it's looking like it's tanking, it's going south. And when it does go south, it almost feels like it's coming with a sense of relief, a sense of, okay, well, now at least we know where we're at with this, you know? On your side, at least. Kind of looking a little, okay, well... It is what it is, but uh, at least now we know 
where we're at. But I feel like you've tried to bring this together under this new shift within this dynamic. Uh, the both of you did, but for some reason, this other energy came in strong with, eh, no. With resistance. Let's do the Four of Swords in the immediate future. The Two of Swords, the Fool, the Ten of Cups. Okay, well, now this is confusing. It's, uh, it's shown up as, so you're giving me a clear path towards where it is you're heading. Um, you are showing me a little bit of a disconnect from your own heart, but then something happens where all of a sudden you're starting to feel again. And when you start to feel again, things get very confusing. It's kind of like, what the hell just happened? You know? Um, Cause I see you going into healing. And the minute you go into healing, your heart starts to show back up. And when your heart starts to show back up, it's kind of like, oh, I feel, and I feel love. What the hell? Because that love push, pushes you possibly back to this. Okay, let's do the Two of Cups. The Devil, the Three of Swords, the Strength card. All right. All right, so there is recognition here that the way things are, even if you do allow yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling, and there's definitely love there, speaking of, you know, what you feel underneath the surface and what's going on above the surface. Above the surface, there seems to be a recognition of things are not working out. So it doesn't really matter if I feel this, if over here things are not working out. When we put them together like puzzles, they don't match. They're from different puzzles, you know? Um, because it does look like the situation carries a tone of unhealthiness, of something is not working out in there. And it's creating pain more than love. And you desire love, not pain. So on the surface here, where things are actually playing out in the physical realm, there seems to be the recognition of if we put these two energies together, mine and theirs, they're not going to create a healthy environment for either one of us. It's actually going to create pain. So it takes a lot to recognize that below, you know, below the surface you feel one thing and above the surface something else is going on. It takes a lot to accept that both things can happen at the same time. But uh, I see you doing it. You know, and that lifts you up even more in terms of there's power in that. There's growth in that. Uh, there's also pain. But that's how you achieve that growth. Let's do the Empress in the immediate future. The Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, learning to balance yourself out through these energies and learning to live through these energies happening at the same time. On one hand, there's love. On the other, things are not working out even if there is love. You know, so it's it's... A very hard thing to accept and it's very hard to wrap your mind around it and through that still allowing yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling um, you're learning how to do that and I feel like you're achieving that in the beginning there seems to be a little bit of what the hell I don't wanna you know a little bit of confusion a little bit of how is that possible I thought that if there was love things can work out or you know where the mind kind of makes sense of it all through, yeah, logically, if there was love, then it would surpass anything, right? Mm, not necessarily, sometimes not. And it's very hard to convince your mind that sometimes no, and then sometimes both energies can happen at the same time, love and not, not even hate, but Things just not working out, you know? So I feel like that's what's going on here for you. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, yeah. 
I mean, through all of this, basically what you're doing is detaching yourself from the situation enough to step into your power to understand what's going on from the bigger picture of things. So you're kind of allowing, well, giving yourself some space to figure things out for yourself as this is happening through this, basically. And you are, you know, because you do need clarity to figure out what's coming as it's coming through. And you're getting there. You're not there yet, but you're getting there. There's still a little bit of confusion. There's still you pushing back and creating that space for you in which you can gain that clarity, but you still carry a little bit of confusion over it. And it's going to take a little bit until you get to this part, but you'll get there. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.